All right, here we go. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> All right, so making up for lost time a little bit here. I'm going to start this game. And as you might see, it's a free for all on big game hunters. Now, you know, the cult of no hunters that I created off of the version, the old real version. Uh, we have uh, a person leaving and then we have a 1v1 on big game hunters. I'm going to give you that one already. Um, of course, this is something that goes against everything, of course. Because no hunters means no hunters, and especially no big game hunters. Uh, but that's the movement that I created around it to play FFA, right? So this is already a violation of everything, especially 3-man FFA. But don't worry about that. Because this is a game from 2009. Indeed, this heralds the moment where I tracked down the hard drive where the list, the original one, was located. And I'm going to make a point of creating vidramps from the past. Basically, the ones that I didn't do, because I had quite a few replays. Now, all of them have survived. Some of them are, of course, on a different version and all that. But yeah, so I'm going to times two this already. Because this is a game of significance, of, of historic significance. Because... Well, I'm not going to say anything about why this is a significant game. I will say that this is um, a played on IC Cup. So, yeah. Um, we have Chan, but it doesn't really matter what the, the players are going to be doing. So, I went to that line. I also have a new mic. So, if some of the levels are a bit weird, um, it's because, well, this I've done a, a little bit of testing, but now I'm just going to carry on with it and record Maybe the game sounds are a little low. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but hey, that doesn't matter right now. So I went to that LAN. And again, I mean, I lost about 10 subscribers from posting that large batch of videos that had nothing to do with Brood War. So for those of you who unsubscribed, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. I'm going to be doing that. Yes, I flooded your subscriber thing. Uh, but, eh, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to cater to the people who decide to track me down on the internet. But uh, the thing is, I mean, that Reflex game, I mean, I went to that land not prepared at all. And they still had Reflex because I did that last year. So I, uh, I ended up casting some of it and it was very interesting. And then, of course, I added some StarCraft 2 there because I thought it was going to be some amusing games. And they weren't that bad. It's still StarCraft 2. But I talked to the players and... Um, yeah, maybe next year we'll record all of that. Maybe make a big spectacle of it or something. But it was fun. And as well, sh the thing is, right, with... I learned a few things. Um, so, yeah, there's scouting going on. There's a game going on, but it'll become more important later. We are times two. We're four minutes in already. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have some banter between these two. Uh, <laughs> where are you? The builds are weird because, well, there we go. So, we've got... Like a billion. We've got one zealot. There we go. I'm going to put up the game sounds just a little bit more, I think. They're just going to chase that zealot down all the way. And that zealot's going to find this barracks for some reason. This barracks is there. What the fuck, indeed. So he doesn't understand what the hell's going on. Because there's a single barrack. Why would you go there? So, three factories with marines. Yeah. He's lying. He's lying. Um, so, yeah, there's some significance. So, suddenly these Marines will barrel across. And, yeah, of course, you know. All of it, no sense of scouting or whatever. That's not going to happen. Um, I don't need to reveal the whole map. You kind of know what the game's like, right? I thought it's kind of rush. Okay. I, I, I hate rush. Seven. Seven minute rush. But, yeah. So, we're going to keep an eye out for these guys. But I learned something during that land is that there's a different message we need to spread about, air quotes, um, games, the hardcore games. Because I saw on the LAN party where the king used to be, so we were going to have marines and suddenly the poor poise of the game is being defeated indeed. The rushes, he is just streaming. I mean, you found him, but those marines are still very adamant that they have to scout that location as well. I think he shift queued them around the map, which is impressive if he knows that. 
So we are going to see another fight here. And you think that's it, yeah? You think this is it. Of course it isn't, because you can see the length of this video. Um, there we go. So things learned. Uh, Marines don't work well. So is there going to be some kind of change here? Yes, yeah, spider mines, you see. So there is some knowledge of the game here, definitely. This is, again, 2009 somewhere. Maybe, yeah, maybe, probably 2009. So one of the first replays that has ever been sent to me. Um, I am actually going to do that. This, this thing's been shift keyed. Well, this one's been hot keyed, I'm guessing. But it's just spamming shit as well. We've got the. He still hasn't found him. He really, really hasn't found him. He's not kidding. He's going through every base and the lot being chased by Marines. And he's found. Yeah, well, he found a dead Zerg now. So there's. Oh, there has to be another option somewhere. Right? There has to be some avenue. You are here, go. Now you found it. Jesus. So, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of shit happening here. Is he going to... So, <laughs> he's got fire bats now, bitch. He's adapted to the strategy. That uh, Vulture is not going to... Yeah, 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 he's going to lay mine. So, he does know that. That's fine. So, the, the approach of hardcore games... He's going to get completely mullered here. Okay. So, I saw people at a LAN party playing League of Legends, playing World of Warcraft, playing online games while being at a LAN party. And it is it is a, a sad truth. So now we're going to see another staple of my vidreps of late. We have Dark Templar completely destroying Marines, which is something that really shouldn't happen that often. Really, but it's it's a staple among my replays. But uh, So we do see Mizzardia. So again, there is some knowledge here. Um, there is an academy. I'm hoping there's going to be a concept station, but there is... Yeah, there we go. See? There is response to this. There is knowledge and a response to this, which is incredible. Not right now, but there is them. I'm just going to put options. Sound. Teeny, teeny, teeny bit. All right? If it's a little less, I don't care, bro. And the, the thing is that I gave out reflex keys. So reflex being an arena shooter... CPM Quake type game, um, which has some significant spurts in development as of late, by the way. It, it's looking a lot better than it. Look at this newbie base. I mean, it's perfect. And Reflex um, is, a, is, of course, the most hardcore of the Quake variants. Yeah, we're going to see the DTs here now. Nicely chewing away. And is there going to be a response? Yeah, and there's going to be a scan there as well. So that's cool. So there's, there's evolve, evolvement here. There's a lot of expansions here as well. And that scares people. Oh my god, it's hardcore. I'm not going to touch it. And that is a very significant problem. Because games like League of Legends and whatever, they give rewards wherever. They get, they're they of the achievement genre of game where everything is fine. And... Yeah, you've got other people to rely on and everything like that. So people that play that out of leisure and not playing the game, they just play it to get rewards and to get, you know, to completely destroyed by spider mines, for instance. Um, that's that's the problem there. That there's all kinds of bonuses and points flying across your street screen. Uh, Rocket League is actually a nice game as well, but you get all those rewards as well, and you play that without significantly advancing yourself i guess i mean because there's a uh, rocket league is a large random element you can be kind of good at it yeah it's it's got some depth to it i saw it for the first time i've really been ignoring it but that's the thing though there's the hardcore games the staple of hardcore games that marine's really hanging in there isn't it yeah he's actually gonna make it out wow there's a stigma on brood war and on quake that only the the masochistic gamers Try and look for it. And that there's this idea that you have to be good before you even start playing the game. That you have to be born into being good. And that's the problem. Because these guys now, last year, the reflex keys I gave. This year, again, some of the people who bought it then. There's rates here now to combat the goons, by the way. It's, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um... Those people did play because they had the game, but they were not good. They hadn't played it at all. They're mostly game hoppers. They just play a game for a couple of hours and then move on, right? 
So they never cling to a game. They just get their satisfaction from the points and the bonuses that you get. Never really investing in, in the, the skill, right? The skill is incidental. It's all progression. They all live on the progression. This level your account. That's a problem with Dirty Bomb. A lot of people look at, the, I have this many accounts, uh, my points on my account, so I must be this good. And that's why me, as a 400 hour level 35 guy, I get called out just by joining the server. And I have seen this replay before. I have tried to cast it, but this is this is beautiful. These DTs are forming below K. And yes, look, look at it. Firebat is being produced. He's supply blocked, so it takes time for the one Firebat to move, get killed, for the other Firebat to start building. It is poetry. It is beautiful, and now the rates are looking. They don't. He hey, he is the attack command because these firebats have 50 health. He is our unupgraded Dark Templar, so he does get the signal. Boom! Are under attack. What? Here come the wraith. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck is going on? Where is it? Where is it? Well, meanwhile, we've got Dark Templars in the base being dropped. Only one of the four actually auto queued in there. Another firebat's coming in. It's still going. It's still going. He's got supply now, so there's two all of a sudden. Oh, I tried to cast this game before, but with a person in question who was involved in the creation of this game. Um, now, a missile dude is being built. Something's got to go. He surely has to figure it out. Sadly, however, he will never figure it out. He will never figure it out. He's just going to keep building fucking fire bats. How many? I will tell you, this Templar gets all the kills. Ten kills. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. The rates, I think they finally find them. I think of, yeah. See, that boom, he's, he's pinpointed it now. This is where it happens. No, he hasn't seen it yet. He hasn't seen it. And there's more. Yeah, he's going to kill these, but that's not the problem. You saw the explosion, man. Oh. It's beautiful. And meanwhile, yeah, th this game is still going. I mean, look at this base, right? I mean, this is a typical newbie. There's two Citadel of the Dunes. There's all kinds of beautiful things happening. There's so many firebats. So many firebats. And sadly, however, the uh, production has ended. And I think those, those Dark Templar are going to stay there for the rest of the game. 11, 11 times. But yeah, all right. So flighty, flighty, flighty. But yeah, that's... A very big problem that that bonus of getting something not never really progressing now it's wraiths versus dragoons non upgrade none of them are upgraded and here we go so now there's a, pro a protoss problem with detection it with oh yeah no 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 there's, there's an he actually made an observer after the wraith that's actually impressive these are gonna go now there's a lot of command centers being queued to this corner for some reason there's now our oh, science vessels as well and we have a ghost. No expansion, because fuck that, you know. There's only, what, 14 probes mining right now to um, 71 SCVs. Now, you can see a problem merging in the game, talking about the game, is that there is no certain goal. There hasn't been an attack here. There's just been a lot of units, a lot of expansion, um, a lot of minerals being mined, but still, though, only 13,000 in the bank, so keeping it rather low, which is quite impressive. Um, but yeah, there's, there's more significant problems. One of these Dark Templars did go. I don't know why. This one's a little frustrated. Damaged, no kills. So a lot of scouting going on. I, I could go on about the significance of the, the mental state of these players, because that's actually quite interesting. Um, we have Protoss, who is definitely trying to push. We've got a, a nuke here being uh, dropped and is that going to be seen at all no and then we get the response yeah nuke so <laughs> now he's he's freaking out <laughs> so he's going to back off so he's trying to attack this a lot of firebats having a bit of a problem here but yeah that land did affect me a little bit considering i sat well, I sat next to a Diablo 3 botter. So, someone who... I, I hate... I, I appall cheating of all kinds. 
and especially when it comes to first-person shooters and, and games like Brood War. Um, but for Diablo 3, I didn't give a shit. Because Diablo 3 has been dead to me for several years, and I think it killed the franchise, and I, I hate Blizzard every, about everything they did to that game. Um, and the funniest thing was that that was the only way he could still get enjoyment out of that game. And that's, again, what cemented my thoughts, is that people just want to see something happen on their screen. It's the same thing as getting some YouTube comments. So I feed off of that a little bit. There's EMP being used. There's a very strong attack. Sadly, however, it's Wraiths versus Clothed Dragoo Dragoons, and they have got plus one attack now. So it's, it's a valiant effort, but somehow it has to be a different composition. But yeah, that's the thing. The whole gaming thing, all the people gaming and ge being the gamers with a Z, of course. We've got some more happening. They, they fight for, they play the game for just simple Skinner Box reaction. Never about personal progression, always about game progression. That EMP was very dutifully placed. And that's why when I see like they playing Overwatch, they're having fun with some friends. Um... But those are the same kind of people that get angry when they lose. If they win, they're happy. And everyone's, yeah, high-fiving and, oh, yeah, that's fantastic. But when they lose, they get angry because they didn't get... That was a good mine. That was a must-say. That was a huge... Yeah, indeed. <laughs> no personal progression whatsoever. And, because don't worry, I'm working towards a punchline. Um, so, significance, right? Players, if you play Brood War, you can't be angry if you lose, because you'll always be bad. You can't be good, there won't be a level 100. You can't finish Brood War. You can't finish Quake either, because you'll always be bad. Even if you're the best in the world, you'll still only have a 60% win rate. That's the thing. I mean, our flash is probably a little higher than that right now. And this is, again, he's sticking with those rates, really just pushing through. And trying the composition, maybe driving home a point. I see, ooh, I do see some, I do see a physics lab, but I don't see any uh, anything significant. He's pushing through, he's doing this. He's going through, he's... Not even going to break either, but the defensive matrix is helping, but there's just too many goons. I look at the supply as well. It's it's a little pain. So, so many ghosts. So, he's got the entire map, but he can't coordinate. That's the thing. This is the flaw of starting to play Brood War. Try, he's got the macro down. Well, yes, let's say that he has the macro now. He understands the concept of macro. But because of the map, that's why I don't like big game hunters. Because it gives a false sense of how the game works. This game should have been over, and Blue should have won. Bec simply because of the stationary the stationary movements of, uh, of White not really being... He tried to attack, being pressured to attack, but there's a... Now, the macro is completely out of the window, right? The economic point of Brood War has been removed from the equation, and only what remains is the personal skill and knowledge of composition and actually, you know, move, movement, um, the way to engage, the army composition, all that bullshit, which isn't present here at all. So that's why Big Game Hunters is a bad map. So that's basically to illustrate that. But yeah. Um, all of these players that used to... they The kind of player that now plays these League of Legends games and stuff. Two battle cruisers now. They didn't used to play games because they weren't competitively minded. So they wouldn't find any fun. Except for the ginormous... That's the usual argument. Except for the ginormous amount of people who played Quake at LAN. They didn't care they were shit, they were just playing the game. And that's the idea we have to bring back. And that's kind of what we're doing with the whole NHFFA movement, is that no matter how shit you are, you can still play this game at an equal level. 
No, you're not going to get rewarded except for the fun of playing the game and perhaps improving and finding a challenge. But there won't be a nice little box saying, hey, congratulations, you killed 15 units. And that's the culture that's been created and that's now demanded. That's why quick play, forcing player interaction through Battle.net or going into a Discord and finding people to play with is too much because that requires commitment. And committing to a game is not a cool thing to do, even though there's players playing 15 hours a day, hopping from game to game, never improving, only progressing. Never improving, only progressing, always going for a different game after they get bored, never committing to it, because they're not like that. They don't play games all the time, except they don't play one game all the time, because they get bored and move on. Because they hit their natural skill cap, never look something up. Some, a very, very heated discussion I had earlier with someone playing Dirty Bomb and then wanting to change the game to suit their inability to play because they don't read, they actually use that as an argument, they don't read anything. They don't read, they don't want to read tips or tricks or tutorials, they just want to be better at the game without ever improving themselves. And that's the mindset we need to break. And here, we have this game about to end as Brodas pushes through and for some reason I that I don't understand right because the mindset is beautiful here the Terran is losing because he's given up he's changed his composition does not have the production queued it all up 5,000 in the bank 12,000 in the bank but there you are. The macro was removed from the equation. The build-up has happened. Mitio Zerg being a Protoss. 90 supply. Never really reached much higher because he didn't have room for pylons anymore. Is going to be with just plus 2 degrees. That's... This game is a metaphor. This game is a beautiful metaphor. And there we are, we saw it in times two. So I had to cast this. Because here's the punchline. I haven't been talking about personal progression. I've been talking about game progression. Mimicking as personal progression. The understanding of the game having to move forward. My dear friend, Mitioza This is Lucky Noob's first icy cupcake when he was not yet called that. Yes. This player That was a nice game, he's Curtis. He's Curtis, he's friendly. This was 2009. And Lucky Noob is still bad. As all we all are and Brood was. Yet somehow we still get fun out of it. And we just play like it's a game of soccer or basketball. We don't have to be NFL level to enjoy it. So the push towards com competition, I'm a competitive player. I've always been a competitive player. I want to improve, but Brood War is the game that breaks me. I'm a first person shooter player. That's where I'm good at. I've always been good at it. From since the early days. Brood War, not so much. But I keep going back to it because of the competitive value it has. And the depths that people can sink to in this game. So there we are. I'll continue doing this service, but I might do some other games as well. I might, like I said, do some games. I'm just going to be playing some Pub Dirty Bomb and all that. And there's going to be different games in here as well. But I'll keep sending this message. I'll keep doing these games. And I'll fish up some old ones from the list. The old one starting in... I've got things going back from 2008, 2009... So. So there we are. There is hope for all. As this is the level that Rocky Noob remains.
axe for all these years. And it doesn't seem to bother him. All right. Thanks for the listening to the preachy nature of this. And yeah, it'll stay unscripted. And I'll keep ranting. Because that's the only effort I want to put into it. Fuck you all. Goodbye.